This is Randy from BibleBuyingGuide.com. Today I'm taking a look at a new series from Church Bible Publishers called the Platinum Series. This is Water Buffalo. Water Buffalo. And it's gorgeous. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five spine ribs. Gold stamping. That, that has a gorgeous green. I love that green. I don't really like a lot of smooth green. I like texture. I like to feel it and see it. This definitely has it. This is a thick leather. Very thick leather. So the outside, water buffalo. The inside is cowhide. Genuine cowhide. And it also has texture and green. It looks pretty. I like it. There's what our corners look like. Now this platinum series, it will have three 3 8 inch ribbons. This only has two. This is just a sample. This, this is not my sample. This is just a sample that, that we're sending on to other reviewers. So I won't have this to, uh, to answer questions from, but I will try to compare as many as I can to get all those questions answered. It's, it's flexible, but not too flexible. It's stiff, but not, I mean, it's not stiff, but it's, it's not, it's easy to hold. I'll say it that way. And then, and here's the back, water buffalo. Beautiful. It's not perimeter stitched. It's glued over. And their goal with this is to make something comparable or outdo R.L. Allen and Cambridge. Leather-wise, they've done it. No doubt. No doubt whatsoever. This leather, I put this leather up against anything. It's thick. I, I like it. I like the texture. I like the color. Really nice. Now, this one is a note takers. This one is a red letter edition, which I have not reviewed before. So there's what the red letter looks like. It's about a medium color of red, medium shade. Seems to be consistent. But then it has the gold and brown head tail bands. Looks really nice. And, and it will have art gilt edges. This will cost $125. And it will first be available in the note takers in a regular and in red, well, see, red letter. I think it's just red letter. Note takers in red letter and the turquoise in red letter. So let's do some comparisons. See what we can compare this thing to. So their goal was to have something comparable, comparable to R.L. Allen. So this is Highland Goat Skin. This also has a texture. Uh, this, you can probably see the texture on this better. It, uh, this feels grainy but this this has more of a thicker texture this is a thicker leather too these might be about the same in thickness there's the liner on, on these might be the same in thickness <clears throat> to give you an idea of what they look like together that's the rl allen this is the wide margin for their standard. Let's see. Here is the Scholar. This one is calfskin. So this one's going to have a paste down liner. This is my Canterbury. <clears throat> and I'm, I like grain. This is my favorite grain of any of the calfskins that I own. Uh, and I like it better than most of the goat skin I own, to be honest. But this one. You, you can see the texture difference. That just, that's nice. That is a nice color, nice texture. It feels good. It feels like quality. It really does. Here's the Mariva calfskin from the large print Westminster. This one is also paste down liner. This one's smooth. Like I said, I, I prefer a grain and a texture. This one's a little bit too smooth for me, but is not to the point where I don't like it. It's just not my preference. Here is another note takers. This one is ironed calfskin. And then it has the synthetic liner. Whereas this one's got the cowhide liner. This one's perimeter stitched. This one is a lot thinner than this one. Noticeably thinner. Quite a bit thinner. Now I, I do love the, the color and the texture of this the spine I love this color combination this, this is my favorite color combination when you're talking about a, a multicolor 
I love that color. But I'm not really fond of a smooth green. I do like this, but I don't like this so much. This one, yeah, that's that makes all the difference in the world. Here is the turquoise. Now, you, I've set something on top of this, and it does take a little bit of the... This, this, this is also the iron casket. It's soft, and it, it takes scratches easy, and it takes the shape of something that's sitting on it. Now, if this sits by itself for a while, that will come out. That's not permanent. But it's still iron calfskin. Noticeably thinner. Quite a bit thinner. You can tell the difference. So let's keep going. Here is Cambridge Concord goat skin. Let's see. This one is this one is stiffer, but not by a whole lot. Eh, maybe not. Maybe it's not stiffer. But this has a synthetic liner, premier stitch, and the grain on this one is not as different. It, it's it's uniform. It's very uniform. Whereas this has a lot of different textures. I like a lot of different textures. That looks really nice. Uh, this one is the other wide margin from Church Publishers. This, uh, this is also iron calfskin. So it's going to have the same issues you know, as far as being um, soft. This doesn't feel soft. I mean, it, it, it's soft to the touch. You know, it doesn't feel hard to the touch. But it doesn't feel soft to the point where I think I can scratch it with my fingers. I'm not going to try it because this isn't mine. But This one, you, know, you, can, you can dent this and scratch it really easy. But while I've got this one here... This is also a red letter. So let's compare red letter edition to red letter edition. See what we like and why. So I will zoom in here. Found a better spot. There we go. This red is darker, bolder than this one. I like this red better, to be honest. But I don't not like that one. That's a nice red also. I just I lean more toward the darker reds. Now let's compare to a Schuyler Westminster. This is the antique mahogany. This is also goatskin. And this is thicker than this is. can't remember on this liner if that's leather. I think it might be synthetic, but I don't remember. Don't quote me on that one. But it, this one has a, a nice grain and texture. This is one of my favorite goatskin leathers. Because it's got a lot of texture to it. But this has more texture. More color. Now, this is an older leather. I don't have their newer leather to compare with. but It's a really nice one. Okay, so here is the goat skin from um, Thomas Nelson. This is the Premier Collection. It has a more, a little bit more pronounced grain than the Cambridge Concord leather we looked at a minute ago. And it has a little bit more texture, but it's still on the smooth side. Where you know I lean more toward this. It's not, it's not pronounced grain as far as you know you not 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 over overdone it, it's 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 just right to my fingers this one is thinner but it's not thin that's not a thin leather but it's thinner than this this is a thick leather this is thicker than most here is the turquoise from cambridge now th this one has a leather liner and of course, this is goat skin. This has more pronounced grain than a lot of the goat skins that I have. This is one of my favorite goat skins. One of my favorites. You can see how they compare. Both look really nice. Here is Highland goat skin in brown from Royal Allen. And this is leather lined. 
this is thinner than this this is thinner it doesn't really feel that much more flexible maybe a little maybe just a touch more flexible this has a more pronounced green but I do like this green it is one of my favorite greens but it's a lot smoother than that is and let's see. this is the Hendrickson Hallmark reference Bible and this is goat skin also but this has more of a matte finish than a lot of that we saw and the grain is a little different it's more textured but it's a tight texture this is made in Italy and I'm pretty sure that is a synthetic liner but it looks very similar to this one just not as pronounced top green goat skin leather cover It's a lot thicker ribs, spine ribs. I'll be reviewing that one soon. If I haven't already, for the time you see this. But yeah, there's the water buffalo with cowhide liner from Church Bible Publishers. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. So their goal was to make something comparable to Allen and Cambridge Schuyler. In my opinion, my first impression is they've met their goal. They've done it. I don't have any issues putting this up side by side with any of the best goat skin that I've seen. No issues at all. I really like this leather. I highly recommend this leather. Thanks for watching.